guys, welcome to this lesson. This is Victor from Majesty House of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play this song, uh, this wonderful song. It's called Nafasi Nyingine by Joel Luaga. The song is in the key of uh, C sharp major. That's why I'm using my capo on the sixth fret. Uh, I'd have used my capo on the first fret, but then... not get the proper voicing the correct voicing for this song uh, when I use my capo on the sixth fret I get the correct voicing for this song now I'm playing this song using uh, different techniques the finger picking technique and I'm also adding some percussive elements uh, if you're not familiar with the if you're not conversant with the finger picking technique I leave a link in the description where you can purchase our beginners guitar series uh, where I've, I've talked about finger picking in detail. Again, if you're not conversant with uh, the percussive elements that I'm adding, you can, you can uh, order our intermediate acoustic guitar course in the link that I'll provide uh, in the description. So uh, let's get uh, started on this song. As I've said, it's in the key of uh, C sharp major. And so I'm having my capo on the 6th fret and playing chords from the key of G. Okay? And uh, the way that I'm doing it, uh, I'm just holding down my G major chord. Uh, the, the progression for this song is 1, 4, 1, 5. That is G, C, G, and then D. Now, holding the G chord, I'm using my ring finger uh, on... Uh, Third fret of uh, third fret of the low E string, and then my middle finger is on second fret of the A string, and then uh, my little finger is on uh, the high E string open. Okay, so this is how I'm holding the G, and then for the C, my ring finger is on third fret A string, uh, my middle finger is on 2nd fret D string and uh, uh, finger number 1 or the index is uh, on the 1st fret of the B string ok that is C and then for the D I'm having my index on 2nd fret G string uh, my middle 2nd fret of the high E string and then uh, my Ring finger is on third fret of uh, the B string. Okay? Yeah, so G, C, and D. Now, uh, the picking part goes this way. I'm starting first of all with the bass note for the G chord now. Just hold your G chord and then play the bass note, which is uh, the third fret of the low E string, the one that you are already holding. So I'm playing it with my thumb using a down stroke. And then, as a general rule for finger picking, uh, the index, middle and ring uh, finger of my picking hand, they usually play string number 3, 2 and 1 respectively, uh, which is a uh, the G string, B string, and the high E string, okay? So, my index is on... is on the G string, my middle is on uh, the B string, and then my... my ring finger is on the high E string, okay? So, after I play this with the thumb, I just pick uh, this other... Uh, String number three and two, three, two and one together. Okay. Okay. And then after that, I'm I'm hitting the body of the guitar twice, and I'm just using my middle finger and ring finger. Okay. I'm just adding a little bit of drumming. Okay. This song is groovy, and so. We have to add some percussive elements to be able to enjoy it uh, well, okay? So this is uh, 
this heating of the body is just a way to add some percussive element, okay? And then the other percussive element that we are adding, we are heating uh, the strings. We are doing a slap, okay? And the way that I'm doing a slap, I'm just heating all the strings with my hand folded. I'm hitting the strings against the frets. It's a way of adding uh, a percussive element to the song. It's uh, it's in a way similar to the thumb slap. But now I'm just hitting using the hand, okay? I talked about the thumb slap in the intermediate course. You can, uh, you can purchase the course and check out uh, the thumb slap plus a lot other techniques that I've talked about, palm muting, uh, the double strum and other techniques, you can purchase the intermediate course and check out. Okay? So this is where we are so far. And then after that we go to the C chord. Again we play the bass note and then uh, String number three, two, and one remain unchanged. We just play the same thing. The only thing that you are changing now is the bass note and the chord that you are holding. Okay, so we play the bass note and then we pick just as we picked in the G chord. Okay, so what we have so far is this. Okay. And then I do the slap again, okay? Okay, and then we go back to the G major chord and just do the same thing, okay? As we did the first time. Okay. And then now the D chord. Now for the D chord, I'm just doing the same thing as I did on the C chord. Uh, I'm changing the chord and then the bass note is changing. Now the bass note is the D string, okay? The picking remains the same of, uh, of string number three, two, and one. Okay? So this is what we have. then we do the slap and that completes our cycle and then uh, the pattern repeats itself over and over throughout the whole song For the for the heat, it's just to to maintain uh, the good feeling of the song, the groovy part of it. Uh, we are trying to emulate the sound of the snare. Usually, uh, the heating and the thumb slap is usually to emulate the sound of the snare. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. See you in the next lesson.